than half of the population of Wichita County remains unvaccinated, whether they're waiting for full FDA approval, fear possible side effects, or just don't feel the need for it. Now, because all these questions remain, MSU Medical Director Dr. Keith Williamson is here with us. Thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Now, a lot of these questions came from viewers, and one of them happens to be, does, do you have to be tested? Say you get symptoms of COVID. Do you have to get tested for COVID-19 if you have the vaccine? So if you've been vaccinated, you don't have to get tested if you've just been exposed. However, if you're sick and you have symptoms, that would suggest that, yeah, it's not a perfect vaccine. Just a few percent will get it, but you can get it after being vaccinated. Right. I know we've seen some of those reinfections here yes, in have. Wichita County. Now, how is uh, the vaccine safe? I know a lot of people are concerned with how fast it was developed and approved mm. uh, for emergency use. Yeah, the speed of development is astounding, but you have to look at it in context. We started dealing with coronaviruses 20 years ago. And that's really when the vaccine development study started. There has been funding to support this because it's worldwide crisis. There have been huge numbers of cases, which makes it easy to get your experimental numbers up. And uh, they were able to overlap the phases of the trial. It's been a rapid development, but this is really how vaccines should be developed. Okay, and then is it true that more people are going to die as a result of a negative effect of COVID-19 rather than the virus itself? Well, wow, that's almost astounding to hear. The, the death rate from the virus is one to 2%, and that is well over a thousand times more than you would get any problem from the vaccine. Uh, it's variable, it's a difficult number because young people are less likely to die from COVID than our older people. But uh, overall, the vaccine side effects are one to three orders of magnitude different. The vaccine is safer. Okay, good to know. And I think a lot of people are concerned, you know, long-term effects of this. Is this something that could eventually cause infertility or maybe miscarriage? Yeah, I've heard that one about uh, fertility before. And there's a, there's a, a post on the internet about uh, similar proteins in the placenta and in this vaccine. But the similarity is such a brief similarity. It's, it's like saying uh, a brief phrase. And it's, it's like having written all of Shakespeare just from uh, a brief phrase, like to be or not to be. That does not constitute Hamlet. OK, all right. And, and this is an interesting one that a viewer had a question of. Can the vaccine change your DNA? Oh, that's easy. No, <laughs> it all right. cannot. Easy. Yes or no. All right. And then let's talk in general, the side effects of the vaccine. How dangerous are they? What are they? What should people expect to be sort right. of the normal side effects? Well, the common side effects are not dangerous. They'll make you feel poorly for a day or two, but it's better than feeling poorly for a week or two with COVID. There are a few rare, rare, rare side effects. Uh, anaphylaxis, if you have an uh, overwhelming allergic reaction to the vaccine, that can be dangerous. And then with the uh, Johnson & Johnson vaccine, there was about five cases per million, maybe a few more, of these blood clots that formed, which were really dangerous when we didn't know how to treat them. But now they've been defined and we know how to treat them and what to avoid, what mistakes to avoid. And they're very treatable. So that's okay. extremely rare okay. to have a life-threatening side effect. Okay, good to know. And also, uh, if somebody's sort of on the fence, I know there's a lot of people, as we right. saw earlier in Chitanya's story and with our poll on our Facebook page, a lot of people still hesitant to get the vaccine. What would, what would your encouraging words be to those people that are maybe still on the fence? Well, this medicine and taking care of people is something I've dedicated my entire life to, and I'm not in the habit of injuring my patients. I strongly recommend it. So professional guidance is get the vaccine. It's good for you, it's good for your community, it's good for the economy. Everybody, whatever their individual issue is, should say this is something to celebrate. And we've got an opportunity to take that vaccine now because the rates are so low. Let's take advantage of that before it comes back in the fall. All right, great. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Williamson. We welcome. really appreciate your insight. Well, stay with us. A local